as you can see the sun is rising up behind me and it's the start of the new beautiful day I think it's gonna be another hot day today we slept relatively well today much better than yesterday in the campground here it was very quiet no wind you know <laughs> no rain of course and yeah it was very very peaceful so we had a good sleep of eight hours we think around that and yeah it's already I think like around 8 a.m. so I started our day at that time which is not bad we wanted to start at 7 30 but it was almost impossible because we woke up by the alarm at 5 30 and was still like very very dark which we don't like we don't like to use our headlight or anything because obviously we are stealth camping and also we're, we don't prefer that yeah we had to wait like for another half an hour so it still like makes sense to get up at 6 a.m because you already get enough light to just start wrapping up your clothes and stuff and also like eat <laughs> so yeah we don't like to be in the dark so and also it takes us around two hours to wrap up everything eat stuff like that hygiene essentials but well we hope to do our plan for today which is 20 plus kilometers we want to do at least 20 we'll see how it goes because we don't know the terrain if it's gonna be like really steep rocky it depends on that but we know that it's gonna be really really beautiful we're gonna pass by many many lakes first is gonna be the biggest one the stand the San Maurici the big day is ahead of us as we said and well we'll see you on the trail guys Now seeing this trail with no people, it's hard to believe how crowded it can be. It's always rewarding when you start early. Yeah, now we have around 2 kilometers up to go until refugee and the big lake. And also we want to resupply our food in the fountain, so we'll see that. has been going pretty fine so far quite gentle climbing uphill to this big lake and it's fresh as this lake guys check it out we've showed you something but it's hard to transmit through the camera as always like all the beautiful views you just need to visit them yourself it's just an inspiration <laughs> not the excuse to not to go beautiful place And 
this lake is actually in size and the color is reminiscent to us the Lago de Brias in Dolomites, really popular destination worldwide. So yeah, this is like Lago de Brias in Catalonia. Also the same as with Lago de Brias, there is also a circular route around this lake, which is really nice if you want just to do a tour around it. But we're heading from the crossroad up, climbing up more, 500 meters we have. So yeah, going there and there is more and more people appearing on the trail. It's getting harder to walk, just passing by the people. stairs are killing it, quite tiring, there's a lot of them. The water from the local fountains is great, no need for water filter. Now we're just seeing the car track passing by this route and we're just like surprised how it is connected with the lower route because we didn't see it on the map but obviously it is and probably they're taking people to the higher altitude so that they can come down by themselves this is just our theory <laughs> which is like you know to come down is a bit easier especially if you go without weight so yeah so there is possibility to go by truck and then come down by feet Now that we turn away from the most popular lake roads, we encounter less and less people, which is nice for us. We can be more peaceful and quiet here. The sun is starting to get up higher and higher and it's starting to get hotter. So yeah, we need to get going, but there is some wind, fresh wind blowing into our spine, which feels so refreshing.
just had our lunch here in the shade under the rock. The weather is very hot, direct sunlight, and we have at least 10 more kilometers to go. It's all gonna be mostly downhill, but still we don't know like what to expect. You know, downhills can be sometimes more tiring than uphills. And now we're going in the big hot hour again <laughs> because like we have to compensate for the for the yesterday's day, right? Today, so we need to do 20 plus kilometers. So this is our challenge for the day. Don't know where we end up being. <laughs> Probably we won't do 24, but 20 it's already like a lot in, on such type of terrain. So yeah, fingers crossed. Pray for us guys <laughs> that we're gonna do it and find a nice place. And yeah, see you on the way. Thank you so much for watching, leave a comment below to let us know how you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Also visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Have a beautiful day everybody and until very soon!